The storm with us, Mother Nature has been a little mean to us, uh, Rolling Thunder Chapters and National. But um, thank you for coming out for our Terry Lee Memorial Freedom Run. And um, I'd like to introduce you to our Vice President for our mission statement. The major function of Rolling Thunder Inc. is to publicize the POW MIA issue, educate the public that many American prisoners of war were left behind in all previous wars, and to help correct the past and to protect the future veterans from being left behind should they become prisoners of war missing in action. We are also committed to helping American veterans from all wars. Rolling Thunder Inc. is a nonprofit organization, and everyone donates his or her time because they believe in the POW. Thank you, Dwayne. Our next uh, person up truly needs no introduction. He is Mr. Rowan Thunder. He is the person who made this vision and mission come true in 1987, sitting in a diner with another Vietnam veteran to make our government accountable for our prison of war, POW. Our executive director, Hardy Muller. I just like to say thank you for being here today. Welcome. Uh, everybody that's out here that is a veteran, thank you for your service. Uh, this is not about us. This is about those government left behind. Most of the time it's not their kids, so they can give a damn less. Uh, our, our kids and ancestors in past wars have got to fight for freedom, not only for America, but freedom in foreign countries. And uh, our government forgets that sometimes. And every veteran that served in the military should be appreciated by the government takes taken care of. We have a, a lot of problems in our country now. Uh, it's been before, and uh, right now it seems like a damn civil war in some states. Uh, what the hell, we have law enforcement officers, and they do their job, and they'd like to go home in the evening to see their wife and children not come back home in a coffin by some of these people that are assassinating some of the cops and put charges against them to do their job. Sometimes scenes go down and uh, you lose it and you do the wrong thing. Hey, when you put your life on the line for somebody else, you never know what you're going to do. So you can't criticize somebody for doing their job when you never stepped in their shoes. Uh, I think a lot of these kids that are causing the problems out in the Midwest, I think a lot of them should be, we should institute the uh, draft again and put them in Afghanistan and somewhere else fighting. Let them do the job. Let them see what it takes. Maybe they'll get the respect in their head. When we were in the service, I don't care what color you were, what orientation of anything, we all took care of each other. We shared our food, we shared our ammunition, and we watched each other's backs. That's what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to turn our backs on our country. We're not supposed to turn our back on our brothers and sisters. This, what's going on has to stop. And we need to put more people out there to try to enlighten some of these people to wake up and do the right thing. Anybody that's in the, uh, anybody that is doing a job in the military, doing a job as a basketball player, 
a soccer player, whatever they're doing, football, baseball, if they turn their back on our flag and won't stand up and salute it, they should be fired. Get rid of them. You don't need people like that. They are not Americans. You want to gain peace again in this country, they better start loading some goddamn rifles and go out to the Midwest and start shooting some of these son of a bitches and get it over with. Put them in the ground like they did in Europe back in 66, 67, and it'll stop. I was in Vietnam in 66 and 67, and in 67 we got a low for a week. Somebody sent us a newspaper, I'm looking at the newspaper, and I'm looking at Newark, Elizabeth, New Jersey. And there's people laying dead in the street from riots. We don't have that shit. You want to demonstrate? We did 32 demonstrations in Washington, D.C. and never got arrested. We didn't break the law we do what we're supposed to do. Demonstrate for the right reasons. Thank you for being here. You guys all be safe. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. Thank you.